Let's learn English through Educatoon with teacher Aya. What can you say about life? Some may say, life is like a tree. How about peace? Correct. Most people will associate it to a dove. When describing something, we often resort to making comparisons to establish a clearer idea of what we are trying to describe or explain. This lesson focuses on the use of other rhetorical devices like analogy in comparing things in order to describe or make a point. Comparing objects or ideas is a common practice especially when writing. While there are many types of comparisons that one can make through usual figures of speech like simile and metaphor, there are also literary techniques or devices that can show and provide a more detailed comparison of things and ideas. One example of these techniques is the use of analogy. An analogy is a literary technique that involves comparison of how two things are alike, but with the ultimate goal of making a point about this comparison. Although often quite similar or related with simile and metaphor, an analogy is not a figure of speech. It is a rhetorical device used to make rational arguments and support ideas by showing connections and comparisons between unlike things. The main function of analogy is not just to show comparison, but also to explain or justify. Example, life is just like a tree. It starts from a seedling that grows into a full-grown tree that has trunk and branches that make itself strong and bears wonderful fruits. Meanwhile, figures of speech like simile or metaphor only aim to show comparison without providing clear descriptions or explanations. On one hand, simile is the comparison of two unlike things using like or as. Example Life is like a tree. Life is being compared to a tree using the word like. The teacher is as busy as a bee. In this example, the teacher is being compared to a busy bee using the word as. On the other hand, metaphor is a comparison of two unlike things without the use of like or as. Example, life is a tree. In this sentence, life is being directly compared to a tree without using like or as. Next, the teacher is a busy bee. The teacher is being compared directly to a busy bee without the use of like or as. Remember, figures of speech only aim to show comparison without providing clear descriptions or explanations. As such, analogy is more complex in nature than figures of speech. Generally, 
There are two types of analogies commonly employed in writing. One, analogies that identify identical relationships. This type of analogy takes the form A is to B as C is to D and is often used to directly illustrate similar relationships between two pairs of words, often for the purpose of logical argument. Example, English is to language as mathematics is to arithmetic. This example vividly shows the connection between English and language and mathematics and arithmetic. English is basically a subject that focuses on language while mathematics deals primarily with arithmetic and numbers. Number two, analogies that identify shared abstraction. This form of analogy compares two things or concepts that are technically unrelated in order to establish a connection between a characteristic that they share. This type is common and useful in writing because it can make abstract ideas and concepts more concrete. Example What soldiers do for the country, white blood cells do inside the body. In the given example, the abstract concept of how white blood cells function in the body is made clear by explaining that they protect everything inside like how soldiers perform their sworn duty to protect their country. In writing, analogies play the function of making abstract concepts more concrete, adding depth and feeling to an image, and describing and making a point to establish an argument. Now let's answer the activity. Read, examine, and classify each sentence as to simile, metaphor, or analogy. One, he is as thin as a stick. Number two, life is like a bag of candies. You never know what you are going to get. Number three, life is a wonderful journey. Four, teaching students require the same passion you would give to plants in a garden. Nurture them, care for them, let them experience both light and dark. Soon, they will grow and bloom like you expect them to be. And number five, her smile beams like the sun. Congratulations! You have just completed this lesson. Do not forget to hit like and subscribe to Teacher Aya Educatun. Thank you.